Well, hello. Thank you so much for joining us for day four of our 21 days of prayer. Today is going to be a lesson on intercessory prayer. We're going to talk about what it means to pray for others and lift the needs of others up instead of our own. So as we get into this, you can read through the scriptures that are there in, in your pamphlet. If you picked up one of our 21-day prayer pamphlets, you can follow along in there. You can look at the different scriptures in there. But today, I'm specifically going to read out of 2 Chronicles chapter 7, verses 14 and 15. In 14, it begins and it says, If my people who are called by my name will humble themselves and pray, and seek my face, and turn from their wicked ways, then I will hear from heaven, and I will forgive their sin, and I will heal their land. Now my eyes will be open and my ears attentive to the prayers offered in this place. I think too often when we, when we go into a time of prayer, when we, we begin to pray, we, we often begin with our own needs and our own prayers. Prayers for ourselves, where we're at in life. God, give us direction, give us vision for our own life. And what God is asking of us today is to step outside of ourselves and begin praying for the world around us. The statement made by the author in Chronicles is an if-then statement. If my people who are called by my name, those who call themselves Christians, will humble themselves and pray and seek my face. Today, as, as we begin to pray and as we begin to intercede for the world around us, I would encourage you to take a moment and ask God, what should I be praying for? And then take another moment and, and just settle your mind, get quiet, and really consider what God would have you pray for. Don't think about what you have going next. Don't think about um, what, what you've got going in your day. Try and leave the troubles of this world behind you and focus specifically on what God would have you pray today. The disciples, in fact, asked this same question of Jesus. They said, can you teach us? Can you tell us how we should pray? Jesus' response to them was, was a prayer that has been called the Lord's Prayer, but really it was Jesus teaching them how to pray. One of the statements and one of the phrases that he used in that prayer was, your kingdom come and your will be done on earth as it is in heaven. This is what intercessory prayer is all about. It's all about asking God, God, how do we pray for the world around us so that we can establish your kingdom here on earth? So today, let's, let's pray with that in mind. Father, thank you so much for the opportunity to pray for the world around us. Right now, God, we speak peace and life over all of the churches here in the Willamette Valley in the Newburgh area. Father, we pray that there would be a grace available to them to do your work. In this season, God, and in this time, we specifically ask that you would give peace to this area, God. That, that division would not be allowed into our valley, Father, but that we would be unified, God. We pray for our sisters and brothers, God, that no weapon formed against them would prosper. Father, we speak life today into the world around us. In Jesus' name, amen. Well, we're gonna release you into a personal time of, of prayer and of reading. If you'd like to continue reading, you can follow along in the pamphlet. And if you'd like to turn on some worship music, we actually have a Spotify playlist that's ready for you. You can sign in and you can begin to play that play, playlist while you continue in your own personal time of prayer and reading this morning. We'll see you guys tomorrow.